fan Check it, check it Before the record, we break it down Business podcast, we run this town Entrepreneurs too, investors, we in Welcome back to another episode of For the Record I'm Dwayne I'm Hope And today you want to want to get your notepad and your writing utensil We got some stats on cost of living and how it increased in just a short amount of time. We're talking three years. You're talking about inflation. Inflation is, um. Ooh. okay, let me, let's define it. Inflation is anytime goods or services increase mm. in an economy. Okay. You know what I mean? And because the goods and services are increasing. Every day, it seems like. It, it seems like every day without warning, your every favorite day. product or service has gone up. Order. Like, so when we look at some stats, because we had to pull them out yeah. for you all. Listen, when we talk about everyday ex expenses, so... Everybody knew when the egg crisis was going on, right? Oh, Everybody man. was upset. So, um, eggs went from a dollar forty-seven to three dollars a carton. carton for carton. And a lot of people make eggs like a, 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 a staple. It is a staple in their home because you use it for so many things. So many things. A lot of people that that's all they could afford to eat is some egg mm -hmm. sandwiches to stay alive. Yeah. You're talking about a dollar forty seven to three dollars for a carton of yep. eggs. And this is the average price. Some some places are more. I think it's it could be even more. Um and look at the cost for um milk. You, you know, uh three dollars eleven cents to like three dollars and eighty three cents per gallon. Sound like gas. It doesn't sound like gas. It costs the same as gas. I think, I don't know if gas is that expensive. Depending on where you are, milk is more expensive than, than gas. gas. Okay. So you, listen, inflation is real. And that's why we did today's podcast. Because we have to help each other get through what's exactly. going on. Let's get to the housing market because that's mm -hmm. crazy. So monthly rent for an apartment, just as an apartment, you don't own it. Mm-hmm. Starts at three thousand a month. That's that's in some places. That's in some, some that's places. An that's an apartment. Now let's let's say, for instance, you lived in um like San Francisco Ooh. or 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 some New York. New York. You're probably you know. looking at five thousand to seven thousand. Exactly. So exactly. the cost of living in each state is also going mm -hmm. to um determine how much inflation you get hit with. Yeah, and also renting versus owning a home. Yep. The the price for rent and the price for a mortgage is kind of close. Those are the same. You know, it's around. Two thousand dollars to rent, twenty four hundred dollars. These are now the, the 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 prices we're giving you. These are um, rough rough prices. rough estimates. Estimates, right? Because um, it's determining on where yeah, you live, where live right? And, and all of that. Of course. Now let me give you something as far as a house. We bought a house mm -hmm. in twenty twenty two. Brand new structure. Um, payments, uh, you know, payments were affordable, right? Yes. Um, yes. Didn't you know? We didn't know. Like because that the, the the property was just land, right? right? Once you put a structure on that, you got to pay taxes on that structure um, the next year, right? So our mortgage went up almost a thousand dollars. It sure did, yeah. just like that. Just like that. And if you're not aware of these things and prepare for these things, they could take you out as an individual. They could take you out as a business owner. Yes. And that's why we want to share with you today how can we all beat or survive this inflation. It's crazy. It's crazy. But it, let me go back to what you were talking about, um, the housing market, yes. because not too far from us and many little different pockets, it seems that there are brand new houses being built yeah. right up the street. Yeah. Brand new houses, but they're only for rent. Mm -hmm. They're not selling them anymore yeah. because people can't afford the mortgage no. rates. So you're talking about brand new, they said three, four, and five bedroom houses. Yep. But only for rent. rent. It's right up, right down the street yeah. in um, this community, and that shows you that corporations are buying these subdivisions and buying these homes and raising the price. Yes, you know that that's, that's also driving this inflation. Because let's think about the cost to um, buy some groceries, right? Okay. Now you you, you know what I'm saying. Inflation hit the supermarket. 
and that's first. Scary. It seemed like it, it hit it, it seemed, first. It seemed like it hit it first because at one point we were saying like it may be cheaper to eat out. Yes, than it to, was than to buy food. At one point it at was. Point. It, it, it was. But now I don't know. Yeah, it changes so much. I don't. I don't even know. Okay. You know that's why you might have to start. Well, you need to start growing your own food. Yes. Anyway, you, you, we should. Let me tell you what I noticed the other day. So yeah, it was actually yesterday. I wanted to have a barbecue, just me and Dwayne. So I ordered a uh, salmon fillet. Mm -hmm. One salmon fillet, one pack of vegan burgers, mm -hmm. um, a can of vegetarian beans, mm -hmm. um, and I think two more items. That was $56, people. $56 for five items. Wow. That tells me that on average, one item, regardless of how small it is, is averaging $10 an item. And that was food, right? That was all food. That was all food. So I went to Target just today. Three items, deodorant and razors. Essentials. Essentials. Mm -hmm. $54. Three items. For, for, for razors? For razors. For razors. And, and normally I buy, it's a 12-pack of razors mm -hmm. that I mm -hmm. buy, just the refillable cartridges. Normally I think it was about $15. I remember $15. Now it's $23 for that same pack. For the same pack? Yep. The, the deodorant? Fourteen ninety nine, fifteen dollars. I remember a time, Dwayne, tell the people where I used to say, buy, buy three or four packs. So, yeah, yeah. So we don't have to keep now, that. now this is this is what I wanted to ask. This is what I wanted to ask. Uh huh. Yeah, you said buy three or four mm -hmm. packs, but I could have got some razors that probably is you know cheaper. Mm -hmm. But I I don't think I like that brand. I'm used to this brand. Okay. You know what I mean. So my Ooh. question is, because price the prices are going up so much. Mm -hmm. Are you willing, and I, even for those that are listening, yeah, are you willing to in. switch like to a generic brand or a different brand that may be a dollar, two dollars cheaper? I have done that mm -hmm. on some things in the house you probably don't even notice because um, <laughs> you, start checking, you probably don't even notice. Yeah. Um, I've changed our soap. Um, like I don't buy that expensive name brand soap. Mm -hmm. We use black soap. They come in nice Big oh, yeah. blocks. Big blocks. Um, I changed our detergent. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't use those pods. They're like twenty dollars for ten. Mm -hmm. You talking about two dollars a pod? Right. Um, I use something called Earth Breeze or sheets. Okay. I, I don't know if you noticed, but you we we had to change some things in order to survive, in order to keep you know thriving, in order to keep the doors open to your business as well. Right. You have to make changes in mm -hmm. at your home. That's where it's going to start. Yeah. Because extra bills coming out at home means less money going into your business. Definitely, definitely. And I, I, I was I always wondered that. And for me, uh, it, it depends on what it is. What do you mean? Okay, so like the razors that I use, uh, I, I'll probably want to switch because they they do you know nice clean. They work for me. Yeah. You know, I may try another one. You know, I'm not I'm not like um, saying no, but. I, I like that. I like that. You like reason. your brand. Yeah, I like that brand. So what what does that tell us mm. as consumers? Mm. Um, as inflation is hitting, that's why these companies are not necessarily lowering their prices. No. They're raising them because we have become accustomed to certain things and certain brands that we like. And there's nothing wrong with no. that. But what we're talking about is how to survive inflation. So are you going to switch eventually? Are you going to no. buy a different brand? I may have to. I may have to do some um, exploring. Yeah. You know, I'm. Thank God, I'm not the type to get like razor bumps, mm -hmm. so I, I can try the razors because some people can't. You know. I heard about yeah, that. Yeah. So some people can't. So I, I may try, but I do like my brand of razors. You like your brand. Of now we don't eat eggs. Nope. We don't eat. Milk. Don't drink milk. Mm -mm. But you know, for those that do, um, yeah. That's a lot. That's of money. a lot of money, and then that's just bread and milk. What about again, what about bread of milk? What about it? No, hold on, that's not bread. That was eggs and milk. Okay, I'm sorry. We didn't even discuss bread. Cause I can discuss bread. Okay, go ahead. Because we like sandwiches. Okay, yes. so we tend to buy a lot of bread from time to time. And one of my favorite brands, I'm not gonna say it, mm -hmm. but they went from four dollars a loaf. Now it's seven dollars and ninety eight cent for bread. Wow. For bread. Mm. Potatoes. Yes. You used to can get a bag of potatoes for two fifty three dollars. A bag of potatoes, if you're doing red or Yukon, they can run you eight dollars a bag. Wow. Eight dollars a bag. Again, 
That's why we're going to start growing our food. We're going to plant this garden. That's right. You know what I mean? Get a, get it get, started. Get, yeah, get our, uh, what is it called, ground provisions, mm -hmm. our, our potatoes and stuff like that. Make but, sure we can eat. Yeah, and then even, I know you already know how to bake bread, oh, but, yes, some, yes, you yes. know, the convenience of baking it and going to purchase it, you know, it's, it's, it's time. It's about that convenience. Yeah. And that's something I know personally I do want to work on. Um, how, how, how does what we do affect no, how is what we do, how is inflation affecting us? Okay. In, so, in the tech world, I consider yeah. us to be in the tech world. Yeah. How has it? So that forces people, because what we do can be expensive, right? Mm -hmm. Our services are not cheap. When, no. I'm not going to even lie. Okay. So what that forces people to do is not hire us for something. Hmm. You know, not, not just us, other companies. Other well. companies, right. You know what I mean? When, they, when prices are high, people tend to find other ways to do things. That's true. But that's not always good. It's not, because, because then your quality goes down. Yeah, exactly. Because I see a lot of people like trying to create content with the cell phone. It's, it's not good. It's not, it, not if you don't know what you're doing. It's it can not, be done properly, yeah, but if you don't be. know what you're doing, even with yeah. a cell phone, it doesn't look it, good. Now, if you're a realtor, you, sh you should hire a professional. Definitely. Don't do that with your cell phone. Mm -mm. Do not. It, it doesn't come off yeah. very well. You know, if you, you want to show houses, you know, because some people you see them walk through, um, video walk through with yeah. your cell phone. Hire a professional. Yeah, because sometimes it's blurry. Yeah, you're going to make that money back. Yeah, you're going to. Yeah, real it yeah. is. Um, we also see some people trying to get content for their brand, their personal brand, and I don't know who they're hiring or if they got a cousin holding the phone vertical yeah. when it's supposed to be horizontal yeah, exactly. and the lighting is off, the, uh -huh. the sound is off. So we understand that inflation is, is, is hitting everywhere, but it's the tech world, as we've been saying since the beginning, is not going anywhere. No, it's not. It's not. It, you're you're going to need it. It's just, like I said, people may tend to hire down. You know, which means that, hey, your your prices may be a little bit steep for me. Mm -hmm. Let me go with guy B or C or D or whatever company, you know, that's cheaper. That's, okay. that's, that's, that's all all yeah. fine and dandy. Then do what's best for your pockets is what exactly. we're saying. Exactly. Um, what about those of us who, well, we work in the studio and then we work remotely as well. We right. have to because um, of the type of platform we run. Mm -hmm. So... I know that there have been several people and had someone on another show a couple of weeks ago who was laid off. Yeah. Um, and they waited to them to finish a complete week of work, mm -hmm. called a meeting and laid off 60 people just like that. And, and see, that's another thing like we discussed in, a, in another podcast. But, I, I, but before nope. you go, I want to say these people work remote. Oh, OK. They work from home, from home. and they were laid off. That's, that's, that's some signs that's right there. That's some signs. Signs at a time, I'm telling you, because normally, you know, they have these remote workers. Mm -hmm. It's costing whatever company a little less less because they're money. not in the building. They're not spending money on electricity. Correct. And the other overheads that go along with it. Um, so by them laying out that many people. What's happening? What is happening? <laughs> you know, that job, whatever job that was, um, what shifted in their business model exactly. to be able to say, hey, we don't need these employees. Even as remote workers. Because mm -hmm. you're talking about remote workers mm -hmm. being laid off. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> what is that about? If I can't work from home to save you money, where, where do you need me? Yeah. And like, like I was saying, what shifted in that business model? You that's know? some that's things people have to look at. Yeah. Even if when you're working for someone now, start looking at what's going on in the office. Listen to the chatter. Pay attention. Pay attention because remote workers are being laid off. Yeah. Imagine those of you who are in brick and mortar. Things are changing rapidly mm -hmm. and more people are losing their jobs, but inflation keeps inflaming. Exactly. There's no deflation. I will I will welcome some type of deflation. <laughs> when was, will that happen? What had, that's never going to happen. Never happened in, in, in the history of the world. So I, we're never going to get back to a normal? No. All, things are only going to get more expensive, you know, because of interest rates. That's, okay. That's, uh, interest rates drive up of this course. inflation. Um, it costs more to, to buy a car, mm -hmm. a home, as we speak, and we uh, spoke about food. earlier, and the food that we need to live and your services and I'm, electrical bills yeah i mean water i was oh. just about to say that even bottled water e went up listen we have a refrigerator that does water and ice i'm not buying any more bottled water it doesn't make sense it does pay somebody to put my water in a 
plastic model mm -hmm. and I'm paying them, was it like up to, remember when cases of water were like two bucks? Yeah, they were. Now they're $6 a case. So again, we're talking about inflation. Mm -hmm. We're discussing with you what we're feeling and experiencing and we want you all to join this conversation too. Yes. How is inflation affecting you, your business model? Mm -hmm your family, your livelihood. Yeah, exactly. And then what, what you said about that water, it used to be $2. I remember also a dollar menu. You know, we don't eat fast food a lot, but uh, the, the, you know, we, we have people that, yes. you know, they, they say how oh, there's no more dollar menu. No, even McDonald's. We saw a little commercial last night. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they're covering, documenting how fast food prices have risen. So this guy ordered a McDonald's sandwich, I think it is, and right. he said it used to be on their dollar menu, mm -hmm. and now he paid close to $6 for the same sandwich. I wonder in what span of time. That's that's crazy. Well, we just started in three years, yeah. 2021 to tw um, 2024, how how the the cost of living has went up. And what is that? And what? Uh, go ahead. Inflation? Well, yeah, it's inflation. <laughs> but what I'm saying is how have, uh, I guess, homes or um, um, pe families, how mm -hmm. have families adapted to this? Because you, you have a car, right? Right. It, it needs gas. Yes. Um, of course, you got electric cars as well. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I don't have one, so I'm not sure how that works. So, you not know, a fan. The cost. Right. Not a fan of that either, but I'm sure it costs. Um, you need food. You need mm -hmm. clothing. Let's talk about that. You want to talk about clothes? Mm -hmm. Clothing. Listen. Listen. Even Amazon yes. prices have skyrocketed. Yeah, I remember that. There are some nice maxi dresses I like to get from Amazon, and they used to be under 20 bucks, like $19, 89 $20. They are now $37 for the exact same dress. And ask me how long ago I ordered those dresses. How long? Six months. And it increased that much? It increased that much in six months. This is Amazon. You're supposed to be able to go to Amazon and find cost-effective items you may need. And even Amazon prices are skyrocketing. But you see how people are waking up to these price um, increases yes. and are moving their families out of places that cost more, like California. And they all come in here to Florida. Yeah, everybody comes in, <laughs> we, we don't have no state tax. No, we don't Remember have no state we tax. lived in Atlanta, we realized Ooh. they got a state tax. To, and to me, that's horrible that you would do that to the citizens that live there. That is so mean. <laughs> I, I mean, you're already paying to live. Yeah. No, you want me to pay to live in the state yeah. I already live in. That's why Florida is great. We don't have we don't have a state tax. No, so a lot don't. of people are coming here for like New York, California, yeah. um, Boston, mm -hmm. places that cost a lot. The, the most in I'm gonna say inflamed. I know mm. people are saying in, in, inflation. Yeah. I'm gonna say inflammation. Wow. Because it's everywhere. It's affecting every city. It's it's affecting every state. So much that people, again, as you said, are leaving and trying to find, listen, when you talk about hundreds of thousands of people moving into a new state in one week yeah, because the state they left inflamed so much they can't survive, we better open our eyes and see what what can we be doing? Yeah, so, this, so we have to have some practical solutions, you know, these days because the price is not going down. Nope. This is 2024. By next year, about six months from now. It's going to be worse. Things are going to be even more expensive. Right. You know what I'm saying? So what are some things that we could do, you know, as as people? People. Well, and first of all, I would say educate. Mm -hmm. Education and educating yourself, training yourself, YouTube University, yeah. um, learning a new skill, especially what AI needs, mm -hmm. is going to be very important. That would be my first thing is to say to educate yourself. And oh, somebody might get upset, but the truth of the matter is uh, colleges and universities are becoming antiquated, right? Mm -hmm. they're, they're, uh, there are many young people flocking for college degrees as they used to because there's tech out there. There's yeah. a digital world. Mm -hmm. So learn something in the tech world. Learn robotics. Learn um, these different apps and how they work and how they can be implemented into different businesses. Mm -hmm. That way, when you're looking for a job, someone will say, well, do you know how to use this app? Do you know how to do this? And in, in the AI world, you can say yes. So that would be my right. first thing. Right. And then, like you said, a lot of people are choosing to opt out, you know, not to go to college, right. being 
now have this entrepreneurial spirit. Mm -hmm. uh, we was watching something earlier and how these billionaires uh, right. at one time, and, you know, tried to go to college and they said it wasn't for them. Yeah. You know, I went to college, you know, I loved it. It was a great experience, but some people the are- Times have changed. Yeah, times have changed. So, but because of the time we're living in, right? I'm not saying it's not needed, but I see where people are saying they're, that's kind of a waste for them. Right. You know, we can make money because the internet is here. Exactly. You know, and that's what people are, are doing now, whether it's content creation to um, coaching programs, mm -hmm. um, um, affiliate marketing, they're doing um, t-shirt brands. I mean, all kind of things can be done to make money. Right. So, And that's what we have to look at. And that's what we have to look at. How can you make money? How can you survive? Mm -hmm. um, and, and we know faith is number one. We already know that. That's We believe yes. in the provider, Jesus Christ. Exactly. Well, while we're here on this earth, we have to do our part to keep living. Mm -hmm. So these are solutions we're giving you. And if, let's say, you provide goods and services, find multiple suppliers. You yes. might not be able to depend on one supplier yes. anymore. So try to network, get resources together, um, regularly, regularly like review what you need. Mm -hmm. Have that stuff out to your suppliers as early as possible. Yeah. It's time to review your, your point of sales. How much should I sell of this? Not so much of that. Like rearrange your inventory. Yeah, I, I, That's going to save you money. I agree. And, and you know, that may be take a little extra time to get check three prices mm -hmm. but i'm telling you the savings is worth it it's, it's you know even worth even if it's worth you, you're saving fifty dollars a month whatever right. it is it's worth it right because you want your customer to still get their goods and services on time mm -hmm. and you might want to stick with one supplier but right now with the way things are going that might not help you yes, might right. need more to and it's not about I understand we want, I want to be loyal. I want to be loyal, but that very same supplier uh -huh. is doing the same thing you need to be doing, yeah. which is finding ways to keep their business going. Yep. So network with other companies and other suppliers. Yeah, and, and, if, and if you notice when your favorite brand or, uh, or service, when they raise their prices, they don't check with us. No, <laughs> they don't. <laughs> Not at all. Like you go to the store today and t or go back tomorrow, the price could be doubled or, or tripled. Who knows? They have to do what they need to do to stay afloat mm -hmm. in this inflamed society. <laughs> so with that being said, another way you could do that as a family is to uh, have a good budget. Yes. And try to really, really, really stick to it. You know, um, two household income, three household income, whatever it is. How about taking out twenty dollars a week from 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 a check and putting it into putting it aside for like a rainy day fund? Yeah, because you never know what's going to happen. Yeah, Save unexpected. Something. Save something. We we know that a lot of families are living paycheck to paycheck. Some can't even make it to the next paycheck. Right. But even if it's a dollar, just put something, something away, away so that when an emergency rises, you have something to go toward it. <laughs> Inflation. You know what else um can help? What's that? If people, I'm talking about families now. Okay. They may have to skip some of these outside activities. Oh. You know what I mean? What I do mean, you mean? Okay, so let's say, let's say it's a couple, mm -hmm. like me, you and I. You and me. You know, uh, we don't have children, so we, we, we pretty much can do what we want to do, right? When we want to. When we want to. But because the, the price, prices of goods and services have increased so much, yes. we may skip a few of those, you know. A lot. You know, going out to this restaurant. Oh, going um, to an event. Going to an event. You know, we might skip one or two of them instead of going to three a month or even two a month or even one a month. Yeah. They go every other every month. Every other month. You know, some, you, recreation is what it is. So you, you find other ways to recreate. recreate for free. Yes. You know, we, we do all the time. Do staycations. staycations. Yeah, you can stay in your state. You can stay in your city. There's so many. Look, check with your local city. Um, or county, they have free events all the time. Like, yeah, we're just trying to share ways to stay afloat as we're all being inflamed mm. by inflation. Yes, yes, um, yes. Another way is to um, learn to use tech tools, different apps, right, right um, to help run your business. You pay a, a monthly fee or you might pay a, a yearly fee. Let's mm -hmm. say we talked about Opus Clips before. If you're in the right. industry that we're in, learn the different apps. You if you have to lay someone off, then you can't. Then learn these apps so that people um, not just learn them, train your current employees as well. Like mm -hmm. it just came to me as business owners, teach your employees these apps. So if you have to let them go or they have to leave, 
they have a skill under them. Yeah, but okay, you talk and the business owners, you put in a responsibility on them to to do something extra, which no, is good. I'm, no. I'm I'm saying that's a good idea, but yeah, yeah. I mean, how many really going to do that? So okay. so that so that's why you got to take these things into our hands. Yes, you know ourselves. Uh, another thing is we're in this hustle culture, right? This is a hustle culture. Always. If I've never seen one. Always. So, side hustle is another way that you could combat this rise of, you know, this inflation. You know, if you're good at cooking, you know, you can open up a little delivery service, mm -hmm. um, baked goods, whatever it is. Power washing. Um, yeah. Power washing the houses, detailing cars. Yes. Um, People, you're gonna need that. People will pay you to rake the the lawn, on leaves, the leaves out uh, their yard. I will, I'm looking for somebody to do that right now. Yes. If you have a not a blower, no. Does anybody have something that sucks up the leaves? Like yeah. that is a service. Yeah. I'm gonna stop talking because I think I'm gonna look into that and start yeah. a business. Yeah, we saw one even last night where people have this like blow up um, clothes that they can put in your yes. backyard. Y'all know the, the, um, the, jump, the jumping, the bounce, have, the bounce houses yeah. for kids? Well, they have now for adults. You can do a blow-up club oh. or meeting house. Mm -hmm. Like, people are being very yeah. innovative. Yes. So, very innovative. so what we're saying is we have to find ways to cut costs and find ways to bring in extra income because if prices are going up, mm -hmm. but our wages... They are staying the same. Staying the for same. some of us, they're going... Down. Yeah. So, you know, that's but why we said, but we, we encourage you to make a yes. ball. And that's what I'm saying. These few things that we we told you, you know, you can implement, those are boss moves you can make. Right. You know, get you a side hustle, put that budget together, skip going outside. Yeah. Sometimes you, know I mean? you can't always be outside. Even if you can afford it, skip it skip sometimes. Skip it. I mean, delayed gratification yeah. will help you in the long run. Right. And I see people. That know they shouldn't be outside, outside all the time. Right, and then cry broke later. Yeah, when it's time to invest in themselves, they don't have the money mm -hmm. because they partied too much. And we're only saying this because we had to learn this through the years as business owners. We had to learn when to regroup. We had to learn when to strat re-strategize. We had to um, change out goods and services. Right. Sometimes you have to rebrand. There's so much going on in this inflamed, yes. inflation society. Yes. Let's make sure that we are staying afloat until we can thrive again. Yeah, and even if you are making good money and can afford um, whatever you want, that may not always be the case. Exactly. I mean, you should also be very, very cautious of how you spend your money mm -hmm. and even how the the economy the prices of goods and services are increasing. Correct. Because, you know, some people are making a lot of money, but, you know, that could be gone tomorrow. Yeah. Well, I mean, and we, and we know that to be true because when that pandemic hit, mm -hmm. everybody came out the woodworks with entrepreneurship. Yes. But now we see those type of businesses, we're not going to name those businesses, mm -hmm. kind of slow yep. down. Yeah. And now the new wave of technology yeah. has taken over. So go and do your research. What was popular back then? Yeah. And what is popular now, and that's where you see, okay, this is the road I take. Yep. This is the industry I want to look into. These are the skills I want to obtain. Yeah. So in 2020, I believe there was a reset of the world. Mm -hmm. You know, with that pandemic, I believe it yeah. was a reset. I mean, things are not going to be the same. Things are not going backwards. We're Always. only going to be moving forward. And I think that as family, um, we should also try to make sure that we're secure. We make it, make, making sure that we are um, stable, yep. making sure that we keep our faith Yes, because it can be scary. It can and be. And that's why we just wanted to hop on real quick and just share some, some ways that we've implemented and, um, you know, give us some solutions. If yes. you have it, leave us down in the comments. Yeah, what are you doing? From. Yeah. We want to know what you're doing. Yeah. What industry are you in? Um, how are you staying afloat? What have you changed? What have you implemented new? What did you step back from? Please yeah. engage with us. We want to know because we need your help too. We are, we are all entrepreneurs trying mm -hmm. and doing our best to stay afloat. Yep. But, there's always hope this is not going to last forever, right? Inflation. Well, it's going to be, it's going to last. <laughs> Prices going up. 
I'm, I'm not saying until Ooh. Jesus comes. That's what I'm saying. But yeah, it's going to last forever <laughs> as long as uh, he's delayed mm -hmm. in his coming. Okay. You know, we're going to have to deal with this inflation. We're going to have to deal with the inflation. Yeah. So let's deal with it together. Yes. Um, leave some comments. Leave us some solutions. We've given you some solutions. And let's rally together. Support each other more in 2024 so we all can eat. That's it. Anything else? I just said it. That's Support it. each other more in 2024. And don't forget to comment. Please want to hear from you. Like. we The likes help the channel. And subscribe. That yes. also helps the channel. We bring you more content on a consistent basis. So thank you for joining us Check on For the Record. We'll the talk record. to you next time. We Later. It down. Business podcast, we run this town. Entrepreneurs too, investors, we in the zone. Sharing knowledge, making moves, we a microphone. For the record, we got the facts. For the record, we run the tracks. We in the business, no time to play. Thanks for, for watching, bye. Podcast, bye.